moving boxes and packing paper have arrived. Yeah, there it is. Cheap, cheap moving boxes. There should be a mix of medium, small, and large in here. So this was uh, $60, I think. And then $60 for this set. Okay, so they're kind of like wrapped up funky. It's fine. And then the paper, I think was an additional $40. I need glue it on. Okay. So it looks like snow. Marcus has joined us. We got a roll of tape and a marker with each of the value packs that we bought. Hello. These arrived in two days. I'm super happy about it. Even though I don't think the quality of this tape is great, the value is undeniable. Inside of this box is the roll of saran wrap that I'll be using to secure things like mom's loom. We are renting a U-Haul trailer today. Here's the other one. The one that we have for our RV. So this is it. Oh my gosh! One, two, three. Is it on? There's one handle, but really it's a two-man job. That was so heavy. These things are a pain in the butt sometimes. Um, I apologize for that, guys. Oh, now you're, you're the man. The area manager happened to help us put, put it on, which is great. Aaron has done a marvelous job of backing this up. Okay. This is the, the way to go in my opinion. Tie downs. Yeah, it's nice because I'm five feet and I can get in here. Uh, we will be putting the TV and stuff up front. This trailer is water resistant, not waterproof. They say it twice, so it must be true. We're gonna taco our king size mattress because it is too tall. These straps are ever so handy. Taco. These size large boxes are perfect. We have managed to get quite a few things in here. We have thoroughly packed this up. It took every minute we have. It's my first time driving with the trailer. Here we are, we are unpacking. I found this lying around. In hindsight, I should have brought a broom. The plan was to rent a U-Haul of this size and make a couple of trips because we have to go back and forth anyway. After filling this once, my concern is that the stuff we have is really beyond two trips. So this is the brake line. This is the thing you're gonna need. I mean, this seemed like the perfect solution. This only has the one handle and you're definitely gonna need two people. So I guess this one must be the 26, but that's way bigger. We need to pay attention to how much fuel is in it. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're almost at full. Oh, oh, look at that. You only need one competent person. There's no rear view mirror. Took me a second to realize that it's because there's no window either and you can't see, so I don't know why I'm surprised by that, but somehow I am. I don't know that that's the best place to sit. We are working hard to pack this fully. How you feeling, Lids? We are hitching up the RV. It's very hard to get this ball right under the trailer. The sun is going down and we have the U-Haul packed about two thirds of the way through. We made it to the marathon. Thankfully, they have a spot for us to park, and Aaron's getting gas. He's gonna charge up my phone. There is a 12 volt cigarette lighter here, but we don't have the right attachment, so I'm kind of just winging it. That is a long vehicle. I'm right here, baby. Okay, we're halfway home. What do you think? How's the trip been, guys? Ready to potty? Yeah. This is the second fill up. It is midnight, and we are lucky that we found a place. I still have half a tank, but Aaron was nearly out, so we're very, very thankful that we found this small town with an open gas station. Apparently someone's just ordered pizza. I pulled the truck up to the carport that goes against our modular home. This is basically where we're gonna store stuff. Oh, the RV. The RV actually looks so pretty here. Uh, probably we're not gonna move it. Okay, let's. 
I pulled the truck into what appears to be a sand dune last night. It is starting to rain, so we'll see how that affects the day. I really do feel like this size of truck was perfect. I don't think I would be comfortable driving something bigger and anything smaller would not have held nearly enough stuff. We did not anchor anything inside, so hopefully it hasn't moved too much. Not bad. Okay, so stuff is pretty much in place. Time to move out of the sand pit. Ugh, if the neighbor wasn't helping us, we would be here till dark. I don't want to have to pay a fee for not cleaning it. Last piece. This was a gift from my dad. We went to visit over Thanksgiving. Aaron has a broken tailbone, which is terribly painful. When he sat in this chair, he decided it was the most comfortable chair that he sat in since his injury, so dad gave us this one and the matching chair to go with it. Yay! We packed this first, and honestly, it worked out very well that we were excited about getting to it, so it gave us a little bit of momentum and oomph as we were unpacking. I will need to clean up the inside. Can I take pictures of stuff? If you spin around like that, you're gonna make people sick. A. Ooh la, ooh la, ooh la. Hmm. What do I want to take pictures of? Make sure and I don't step on crazy stuff. Watch out, you don't have shoes on. Mommy, wait! Wait, what's inside that? Well, this is trash. Can I see? I guess. After you use these trucks, you gotta clean I can't them out. see it. Is that better? Mm, yeah. Ooh, that looks so spiky. Ooh. Mama bees. Belongings have just arrived in this 15 foot U-Haul. This looks like a nice size. All of the stuff from her bedroom, plus some storage fit inside of here. Oh, and here she is. We'll go ahead and sweep it out before we return it. So much stuff fit inside of this. I think the 15 footer is ideal if you're moving one room and you have extra stuff. Okay. It's about a 30 minute drive to the drop off place. It is Sunday night and we are trying to get this back by 6 p.m. Yeah, this is nice. Okay. 